Drivers can expect safety improvements at a local intersection by the end of this week. Lily Cedardall spoke to NDOT as well as local residents about how these changes will affect traffic in the area. Lily. Mike, the intersection of US 36 and State Road 59 will soon become a four-way stop. Those I spoke with today say it will be important for drivers to be aware of the changes as many long-term residents are used to the two-way stop. Intersection of 59 and 36, I mean, there's a flashing light there, but it is, in my opinion, horrible. The whole summertime is hectic through that, through that area. Both RVs. The current two-way stop at the intersection of US 36 and State Road 59 in Park County has caused problems for many local residents. Worker for Big Berry Ice Cream, Abby Bonomo, says current traffic patterns at the intersection often cause drive-through backups. Usually, like, it gets pretty hectic, especially in the middle of the day. In DOT Public Relations Director Megan DeLucine says changing the current two-way stop to a four-way stop will improve safety at the intersection. So in the past three years, there have been 11 right angle crashes through that intersection. Um, and through researching, um, analyzing that data, our team has decided that a four way stop is the best way right now to improve safety. However, many Wabash Valley residents argue that a stoplight would be a better option for the area. They need to put stoplight. It'd be more safer for travelers. People that's lived there for so long aren't used to the four way, so they won't even notice it. Delucine says, although Though residents may believe other alternatives may be best, she says her and her team believe a four-way stop is the best solution. There's actually a lot of research and a lot of data that goes into putting in a signal. Um, we also have to meet state-regulated minimum requirements for that intersection. So right now our team does believe that a four-way stop is the best solution. Dot crews will be placing additional signage, flashers, and markings ahead of the installations. Delucine says the installation will be a fairly quick process. And that installation will happen at night, so we're hoping to have minimal impact on the traveling public with that installation. Crews with NDOT are set to install the stop signs on or after Sunday, July 17th. All right, thanks a lot, Lily, for that report.